Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Reviews here, and I hope you enjoyed that intro. It may seem simple, but it took me a really long time to get it all put together. Um, so, if you haven't figured it out already, I'm reviewing Expendables 3 in theaters now. Um, similar formula, taking a lot of washed up <laughs> action stars, Sylvester Stallone, and I don't understand why they always lump Jason Statham in. He, I'm sure he's not nearly as old. And he hasn't been around as long, you know, so he's kind of like your middle-aged expendable as opposed to your over-the-hill expendable like Stallone, Ford, Schwarzenegger, Gibson, Snipes, Lundgren. And I don't even know who Randy Couture is. I don't know what he was in or how he got in this movie. Uh, Terry Crews is another one who's kind of in the middle. Kelsey Grammer is an over-the-hill. Not What action movie has he even ever been in? Why is he on in this movie? Um, Antonio Banderas. And then they got some young, new Expendables. Uh, Glenn Powell, Victor Ortiz, Rhonda Rousey, and Kellen Lutz. Or Keelan. I'm not sure if it's Kellen. Maybe it's probably Kellen. Um, I haven't heard of any of these people. I don't know who they are, where they came from, why they're in this movie. Um, this movie is rated PG-13. Um, and you can definitely tell they, they cut back a lot on, you know, like the kills it's just kind of quick shots like they'll shoot and then you just see the person fall down and it's all real quick there's like only blood once and then like magically it just disappears and um that uh, that i noticed really i mean they're like a little bit on the lip or whatever you know around the mouth but nobody's ever like just like pouring blood or you know it's just you could tell that it was pg-13 i think there was maybe swearing once or twice you know um so, not necessarily what you think of when you think of these Expendables or Action Hero or, you know, these kind of movies. Um, it is also 126 minutes long, and you can tell it feels long. Way longer than needed to be, and way longer than you're going to want. Um, so, what is this movie about? Is it really about anything, or any of these ever about anything? Um, it starts off with um, a much diminished Expendables team. Um, you got Sylvester Stallone, uh, Randy Courtier, 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 I'm not sure how you say it, Dolph Lundgren, and Jason Statham. I think there was just four. And um, they're breaking Wesley Snipes out of prison. And why was he in prison? Well, he jokingly says, tax evasion. Which is possibly the greatest, most subtle joke in this movie. Although, I didn't laugh. <laughs> um, and really, this movie, I felt, was missing a lot of that comedy element it had in the other ones. It tried at points, but I really didn't feel like it succeeded. Um, so, when they save him, then they're sent on a mission to go um, take out a guy who has a bomb. And they're supposed to get the bomb or something. It, it really didn't, it didn't matter, I guess. So they get there and they, they, you know, they have this crazy little war. Wesley Snipes is like swinging around and gets up into this thing and they're like in a container. They're shooting everybody. And the, they get the bomb dropped on them and it, it doesn't even kill anybody. Like, well, this guy was so bad and this bomb was so terrible. They didn't even blow up the dock that they were standing on. Like, <laughs> was it a firecracker? I don't get it. Should have done more damage, but whatever realism isn't necessarily a huge deal in these movies so then sylvester stallone wants to go get revenge on him because he shot terry cruz in the ass okay seriously that's that's the big big revenge plot i shot shot terry cruz in the knee and the ass and now sylvester stallone wants to kill him but he's afraid his expendables who are no longer expendable what? <laughs> he's afraid they're gonna die, so he's like, you know what, you're all fired. And he decides to take on a new young crew of people he doesn't care about so that they can die, and he won't care. Kinda sounds like an asshole. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then, you know, they're, they're going after him and whatever, and let's just say the new crew and the old crew have to team up and work together. <laughs> um, that gives away a pretty big chunk of the story. I'm not going to go into any more details than that. 
there isn't much story, like I said, but you would expect there to be. Um, I really did not like this movie as much as the first two. Like I said, it took a lot of it took a lot of the joking away. Although they tried, it, it just wasn't funny. Um, the action there was a lot less of it. There's like a big lull in like the it starts out action. You're like, okay, this is gonna be an action filled movie, and then it's just like, Bleh. and then like twenty at least twenty minute just nonstop fight scene at the end. Which was cool and it was great and it was amazing and full of ridiculous stunts and nobody like no none of them can even get shot or anything. I mean they're fighting a whole army with helicopters and tanks and all this stuff. Um, and, and of course they're all bulletproof. Um, they did do Arnold did get to the choppa and you know but that was really the only only you know one liner. Of, of theirs they had used unlike in two you know they tried to really cheesy add them in no su surprise appearances from chuck norris who was the best appearance in this expendables 2 um so like i said at the end yeah it's just too long to wait for that payoff um i got bored and i was like ah, what is going on and you know it's just way too long for that so i'm going to talk a little bit about each character sylvester stallone main character he's in it the most you know he's, he's obviously it's his movie jason statham you know he's his right hand man again um but you know he gets fired too harrison ford actually is kind of like a cia agent or something and he's not in it much until the end and then he becomes a helicopter pilot and he's he helps them in the final battle arnold schwarzenegger somehow manages to be throughout this movie without doing much which I honestly feel like Arnold could, um, if he was in this more, I think it'd be a lot better. Because you know he's the greatest action star ever. You know, it's just, they don't seem to want to put him in this much. And he just has a couple quick lines here and there. And uh, he does a little fighting at the end. But mostly he's just like sitting in the plane or flying the plane or whatever, not doing much. Mel Gibson, if you didn't figure out from the previews. Um, and you don't want to know, maybe don't listen, stop the video now, but um, he's the bad guy, and he did a pretty good job. He had the one funny joke in the whole movie. I felt like if they would have used him more and, and you know, done more of him as the bad guy instead of, you know, just every once in a while having scenes with him, I think it would have been a lot better. I think he plays an excellent bad guy, and regardless of what you think of him and all his meltdowns he's had, um, great movie star. Um, I can't deny that. Wesley Snipes, um, again, kind of at the beginning, and he kind of has this whole deal like he's the greatest knife guy, and so he's got to like argue with Statham over who's the best with knives, and he's got to take knives, and he's obsessed with knives in this movie. Um, and he's wearing this like at the beginning, he's wearing this ridiculously fake beard. It just looks like it's like taped on, and he decides to shave it with this knife that's like this big it's like a sword and he's like it's like okay come on that's just stupid Dolph Lundgren it seemed like he had a little bit less of a role in this one um, Randy Couture the same Terry Crews you know, like I said he gets shot and he's out of most of the movie Kelsey Grammer um, he's not in it a, a lot he's like taking um, Stallone around to, to find these new expendables and um, I can't remember if he showed up for the last fight or not. It seemed like he went, but I don't remember him doing anything. And then everybody else is all the young people. So, um, like I said, I don't think this is as good as the first two. If you don't like the first two, probably not going to like this one. I did just start reading someone's review, though, where they're like, I didn't like the first two, but I like this one. But, you know, there's always going to be those people. Um, as for whether or not I suggest you guys go see this, I say wait. It's really not worth the money. Um, the best part is the end, and it, it's... Uh, two hours to get there you know there's better movies out there but i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time